see if there's any brood. Yeah, lots of, a lot of honey. This is interesting. There's a cluster of bees right here. A tiny cluster of bees that are on this frame of honey and they're dead. They, for some reason, I don't know why they would do that. But anyway, they're dead. They're almost like a starving hive. Yeah, that's funny. There's a bunch of bees clustered together and froze to death on a frame of honey. They're really gentle. Tons of honey in this hive. But yeah, they're just slowly eating away at their honey. Pretty lethargic. I don't know why they're so lethargic, but anyway, hopefully they got a queen. Okay, this seems light. I'm just looking for some, uh, some eggs. Yeah, these bees are just not even moving. Oh yeah, fresh eggs. That's why they're not moving. They're, they're, they're nurse bees holding on to their... Uh... Oh yeah, lots of, uh, lots of fresh eggs and goo. Yeah, I don't know where the... Boy, these bees are not moving at all. I don't know why, but anyway. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they've got lots of honey, so they don't need honey. They don't need food. <clears throat> and they've got a lot of empty... Lots of empty comb too, so... I'm going to just put some of that empty comb right in the middle so the queen can go up there and lay eggs. But right now... What I'm seeing is a lot of... Uh, I think these bees are in broody mode and they're just sticking close to the brood. Not a lot of forages yet. But the queen, I think there's signs that the queen is laying. And it looks good. I don't know why that was so overexposed though. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so this is the tip of the colony and the other tip of the cluster and the rest of it's down there. They're not active. I don't know why. Hopefully they've got a queen. But I, well, they do. I saw, I saw some, some, uh, some gooey larva. So these bees are uh, slow moving. I'm gonna take a quick look at the top frames too to see if there's any brood rearing going on. But those boxes are heavy with honey and uh, that's great. I'm just gonna leave them alone. I'm not gonna feed them any syrup or anything like that. They got tons of honey. So let's just pick up this pollen patty. Yeah, they're eating it. You can see the the marks that they're consuming. Well, yeah, a lot of bees packing these frames. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six, maybe seven frames of packed bees into this medium super, and probably maybe two or three frames less than the in the bottom. So that was looking good. And both of these mediums are heavy, so honey heavy with honey. So they did fine on their own. That's fantastic. They didn't need, whatever I did, I'm going to go back and look at my records, but this colony didn't need any sugar all winter long. I gave them sugar, but they didn't, they didn't need it, so they did fine. And they still got tons of sugar, tons of honey. They've got this bottom deep too that's, I'm assuming it's empty. So, did pretty good. Ah, these bees are like, they're like they're, they're asleep. They're not even, they're, I've never seen such slow moving bees before. Let's just see. This, I'm pretty sure this is honey. Yep. Whoop. I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, this is nothing but honey. This is fantastic. Love it. No, that's heavy. I can just feel by the weight that it's just honey. This is light. These are really dark looking bees for some reason. Oh yeah. Fresh brood. No cat brood, but fresh brood. That's good. Whoop, whoop. I guess all these bees that are just holding on to the frames are, are nurse bees that are in nurse mode. <clears throat> Nursing mode. They don't want to leave the brood. Okay, well, there's uh, open brood but no fresh brood. No cap brood yet. And this is just a frame of honey. Wow. These are super duper gentle. No shines of aggression at all. This is just a frame of, man, nothing but honey. Well, not much to see on the video there, but um, all these frames, these top frames are packed with honey. I'm gonna spray them down a bit just to get them out of the way. 
And you can see they're eating this. They seem to be consuming this pollen patty. So I'll just put that back up there. Nice. Well, I gotta say, old number seven is in really interesting condition. It's got doesn't have any cap brood yet, but I saw lots of uh, lots of fresh open brood. So the queen is laying. Hopefully, I didn't kill her. And uh, tons of uh, honey in there. So they've got a lot. And on the bottom, they've got a lot of empty, a lot of empty frames, but lots of tons of honey too. So didn't see a lot of pollen. So, but maybe they're eating that pollen patty and they're doing their thing. So now I'm going to get rid of, here's the old location, you can see the forge is already coming back to the old location. So I'm just going to get rid of it completely so that they know to come back to this, this spot. So here's the bottom board of that hive. You can see a fair number of, of dead bees. Um, you can see this stuff that looks sort of like sawdust. That's that's wax. The bees, when the bees dig into the capped honey, that's the little waxy bits. Um, there's a little bit of the sugar that I gave them. And you can also see here too, look, for some reason the water got into this hive too. And uh, that ain't great. But they just moved up and they didn't die. But for some reason this hive and the one next to it were just, we were collecting lots of water over the, over the winter. So I did something wrong there. I'm going to have to, uh, figure out maybe drill a hole right here in the bottom boards so that if any just in the corners and, and with a bit of screen so if any moisture does get in there and it isn't pouring out the front um, it finds a way out and it provides a little bit of extra ventilation anyway I know I think I know a beekeeper in Clarenville who does that but yeah you can see this this is all just uh, the wax cappings that fall to the to the ground to the floor. It could be pollen, but I uh, like from pollen patties, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like it looks like wax cappings. And a few moldy bees. But this is uh now this isn't I don't know how many bees dead bees this is. This is probably you know maybe a thousand bees. It's not a lot. Um, you, I've, I've I've had the bottom boards completely carpeted with bees in the past, and that that's just the way it goes. They die. So some people, when they move a hive, they they leave behind an extra super with some frames to get all the stragglers who are coming back to the old location. But when I'm only moving it just a couple feet, like from here to there, I um, I don't bother with that. I just get rid of all signs that the hive was ever there, so the the visual cues are gone, and that they will eventually come back. They will fly this way, and they'll get a whiff of the hives. And see, already you can see the these bees are scenting, um, and uh, you can see by the little—I don't know—you can't see it there. It's hard to see, but the little, the last segment of this bee's um, butt end there is cracked, and it's giving off—it's it's releasing the Nazanov gland, Nazanov pheromone. This is basically a come hither, everybody. Like, hey, this is the way home, and this is what they do when they're disturbed by anything, and they know that the foragers are trying to come home. They'll, they'll start scenting, they'll hold down, they'll basically, you can see, you can't see their wings bat, uh, moving right now, but their wings are just going like crazy, and then you can see this guy in there, he's doing it, that one right there, um, and you can just see that the butt, their butt end looks, when they're scenting, their butt end sort of looks like it's almost, uh, it loses its point, and it becomes sort of flat looking, because that's because they're bending that last segment and releasing a pheromone. It's that flies out all around the hive to let all the foragers know that this is the way home. And uh, that's what they're doing right now. You can see they know what they, 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 these bees, they know what to do, right? You just, you just, they got it all worked out. Millions of years of evolution right there. <clears throat> these guys are cooking. Yeah, let's see if I can pop this open there. Oh, there it is. There we go. Let's see if they'll use that that entrance. I've got uh, two other holes in this this uh, this rim up top, but I'm just gonna. Oh, what? we're already using it. <laughs> so that's, that's good. It's, it's, I think it's a good number of. Whew. Yeah, look at that. 
So there's a good number of bees inside this hive trying to get to work. So uh, that's fine with me. Maybe I could even pop this one off. See if anything comes out. They're not using this side of the hive though. Let's see if I can do it. The problem with using a cork is if it's there on winter, it, it exp oh there we go, okay. No, there's nothing there. Anyhow, lots of orientation flights, lots of good stuff going on, so I'm just gonna leave them, leave them to it.